Coming up in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this refrigerator cooler by Bouge RV. Now, unlike some other brands on the market that will only cool like 20 degrees or 10 degrees below ambient outdoor temperature, this has actually got a built-in compressor that makes it an actual fridge. So this is gonna give you superior cooling. So let's open it up and take a look at the cooler itself. Okay, and we have the cooler. So I'm gonna get all this packing stuff off of here. Okay, this appears to be the backside of the cooler. Now let's turn this around. Okay. So we can see here we have a nice latch that uh, locks into place and doesn't allow you to open. We have some cutouts here for a couple of drinks. A flat area here, I believe this is for the cutting board. Okay, so on the lid, we have a little cutting board. Wonder if that fits. Oh yeah. So that will fit in this little nook here. Uh, so it doesn't slide around. You can use this top to cut and prep food. On this side here, we have a cage that you can use to put items in and easily pull in and out. We have a drain plug down here at the bottom and we have another mesh cage here. So this is gonna be probably some power adapters and that I'll take a look at in a minute. And on this side, this is a little bit more shallow, but that's because the compressor is below down in this area here. Okay, taking a look on the side here. We have a solar port. Wonder if this, oh yeah, this comes off, okay. So we have a port labeled solar. I gotta look into this. I might just be able to run this right off of a solar panel. Uh, we have a 12 volt or 24 volt. And we also have a compartment here. It looks to be a battery compartment. Oh, maybe that's what that cover was for. So this cover was in the box. The other side first. Okay, that covers the battery hole because I don't have the battery with this, but that's pretty interesting. We also have a bottle opener here. And moving along to the other side, we have the handle, which I've noticed if you push these two buttons down here, you can pull the handle out. And then if you push the two buttons again, you can slide it in and it locks into place, which is really nice. Okay, and we have, we also have the display up here. Now I don't have this plugged in. Oh, we also have a USB port, so that's nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's give this unit some power and see what the display does. Uh, we have a user manual, which I need to look at. Oh, we actually have a energy efficiency rating so estimated yearly consumption of 135 kilowatt hours. So this is actually has an energy guide on it. That's cool. Also, we get a couple of power adapters. So for our power adapters, we have a cigarette lighter and we also have a AC brick. So this is gonna go from AC to DC to power the fridge. What I'm gonna to use to power the fridge is I have the Bouge RV Flash 300, which is an amazing little unit. I'm gonna use that to actually power this fridge. Really good long cable here. Plug that in there and turn on my DC, DC. Okay, we have a beeping. Okay, let's turn the power on. Ooh, I wonder if there's a way, because this is in Fahrenheit, and our measurements are in uh, Celsius up here. We have a battery voltage of 13 volts. That's gonna be the regulated output on the uh, Bouge RV Flash 300. Oh, and I can hear the fans have already turned on. That's, did I just see that? Oh, that is nice. 
Okay, look at that. We have lights inside of here. And, oh, you can see it's out now. Raise it up. So it turns off when the lid's closed, and when the lid's open, the lights come on. Really nice quality when you see stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna quickly peruse through this manual and see what I can learn, and then I'll tell you what I've found. Okay, I've figured out how to change from Fahrenheit to degrees. So what you wanna do is turn off the cooler. So it's now off. Press and hold the sprocket and then go over to E5, and then you can change between uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius there. So I'm gonna go to Celsius, and then hit the sprocket, and you can hit the power button, you can see that it has gone to Celsius, as well as I'm gonna check Bluetooth. I have a Bluetooth symbol here, so I wanna check that. Now for the app, there is a QR code in the manual that you can scan, and I'm downloading it right now. It's installing. I think using the app is gonna be easier than the touchscreen display. Start scanning for fridge, and we have found it. Oh, and I can hear the, press the setting buttons on the fridge panel. Okay, and we're connected. Uh, let's start a screen recording here. Okay, so it looks like we're connected. So the left side of the fridge is set to 16. Or is that what it is at right now? Current temperature 16. Okay, there we go, we can move the slider. So I'm gonna set that, ooh, minus 20. Let's go minus 10. Okay. So we have real-time temperature. Okay, we can change it in the app as well from Fahrenheit to degrees. You can see left and right. I think that's pretty much it. And you can see the voltage of your battery and everything on here. Let's go to the settings menu. Okay, maximum temperature, minimum temperature. Uh, name, I can rename it, so that's cool. Okay, so that's the app. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna let this run. Um, currently, it is using, wow, only 26 watts. So I have 26 watts coming out of the Flash 300 powering the Bouge RV. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this run um, and we'll see how long it takes to get to temperature. Okay, so just looking around, uh, I'm gonna open this up to a screen recording. I was looking around on the website because I was interested in the little port that's on the back with the cubby hole. So it looks like you can actually buy a detachable battery that goes in, and then you can also hook that battery up to solar. So as you can see, you can run this off of a solar panel and a little battery pack, and you do not need to have a little power unit. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna reach out to them and see if I can't get that for testing. That's really neat. So there you go. So that's what that port and the solar plug-in is for. If you have that detachable battery, you can put it in and charge it from solar. So you could throughout the day, run the refrigerator and charge that battery. And then overnight, the battery's gonna take over and run the refrigerator. So really cool option there. Uh, one thing I just noticed, uh, when I first turned it on, it cooled the left side first and now it is cooling the right side. So it cooled the larger compartment down to the preset temperature, and now it's going to the smaller side. It didn't cool both sides at the same time. I don't know if it, maybe it's a setting that I had uh, done wrong, but that just seems, seems to be what's happened. So it's still cooling. It looks like, so it looks like the left side is at about minus two when I have it set to two. So it's minus two and I have it set to two. And then now the right side has cooled down to, it's at six degrees right now and I have it set to minus 10. So let's uh, keep an eye on the left side there. Okay, and the cooling of the refrigerator has completed. Now this was less than like 20 minutes of uh, cooling. So you can see here on the right side, it's showing minus nine. So there's probably a two degree variation. So it'll probably cool to like minus 11 
and then let it go down to like, I don't know, minus nine, minus eight, and then it'll fire back on. The, sorry, that was the right side. That was the smaller cooler or uh, freezer side, or you can set it to a fridge side. And the left side is sent to two degrees and we're showing one degree on the app here. And right now, currently, there's zero watts output. So right now the fridge is just sitting idle. This is gonna last an extreme amount of time, especially off of this, I believe it's 200 and something, I'll put it at the bottom, uh, watt hour. Oh, and it's just kicking on right now. So that is probably going to be cooling. I'm not sure which side, but right now it just kicked on cooling and it's less than 30 watts. So very energy efficient little fridge. Um, I'm gonna reach out to Bujar V, see if I can't get that expandable battery pack for the fridge itself, and hopefully plug it into solar as well. And we'll do some nice long-term testing with this unit. It's gonna be a lot of fun moving forward playing with this cooler. I'll leave links in the description below. Uh, please check out their cooler selection, and uh, I'll be back with more videos in the future on this. So again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, before you leave, hit the like button. It really helps out this channel. And thank you for watching. Bye.